Well, we got Big Bertha out here for our first bee removal. I did a removal in that shed January 2nd, so exactly two months ago. They called again. They've got bees under this mobile home. So, oh yeah, I can see the comb right there. That's a good colony. Look at that. Oh yeah. That's gonna be a good one. We'll take better pictures once we expose it better. Well, I had to take a personal day to get some stuff off from work. Now that I got that done, I have time to do a removal, but we're expecting rain. It's windy out here. Look at those flags flapping out there. But luckily I'm in a big old covered port and uh, we're gonna do a removal in here. Luckily it does have this, so if it rains, it'll just be muddy out here. We're blocked from the wind. But if you look in here, as I was showing before, we've got comb right there. But I noticed we got this main runner coming down and this is actually the main entrance where the bees are. So I'll have to cut this open too and see how big this colony really is. So I'm gonna get started and bring you along. There's a bee bringing in pollen. I wanted to have my tripod and my microphones, but laying down is just gonna be impossible. I'm trying to work on all this. Alrighty, so here's the best visual. Uh, it's underneath this mobile home. They had insulation in this spot, skipped insulation, then insulation in the next spot. So they're right between these two studs, which bees, if there's any vacant little openings, they love to just take over. And especially with this just black paper, it just kind of sags down. They're able to draw even further than the two by fours or two by sixes, I'm sorry. We got some brood here, some cat brood. Uh, looks like some drone cells. Honey on the outside. Uh, we'll start vacuuming shortly, but we also have some. It's kind of hard to be in here, but we also have some comb on this side. So they're expanding and I need to start. So far what I've done, I removed all of this coming across the beam. Now I'm gonna come on this side since you can see the opening there and work my way slowly that way. So you see the big bunch of bees? I'm gonna go ahead and vacuum most of those so it'll be easier to find the queen. Let's get to it. All right, so I've taken all the comb except for this section. We've got some bees festooning here, so I'm gonna slowly go through them and uh, see if the queen's in there. If not, she may be in this corner with a bunch of bees. I'm gonna do this side first, then I'll remove that comb and slowly go through those. Scrape this clean, paint it, and go from there. All right, and this is exactly why I like to start from one side and work one way. We got a bunch of bees over there and I noticed some on the ground over here. And uh, my vacuum holes really quick, but we actually have the queen in here. So I'm gonna see if I could uh, see where she's at again, which I'm laying on the ground. I'm trying to do this all, it's windy outside my gloves in the way and I'm going to kind of bend this backwards here and you can see my queen is right there on the ground she's on the other side of that stick she's actually right there so I'm gonna get my queen clip out really quick so we're gonna prop you up really quick so that's why when you're doing a beer removal you have to take your time you have to visually look around so now once I get the queen, I know I could just uh, grab her now, put her in my clip, which she's beautiful. She's right there on the wall. Look at that big girl, beautiful. So I'm gonna grab her, oops. I'm gonna try to put it to where y'all could see with the phone. So I grabbed her, she's right here. I'm gonna put her in the queen clip. Now she's in here safely. There's the queen. So now I could hurry up and just vacuum this bunch of bees, clean up and call her good. Another successful removal. Let's go. All right, so the next step I'm gonna do is I put the queen, all her brood in there and some nurse bees. And I've got all the bees from the actual removal part. And I'm gonna shake them at the front door and 
it is windy so hopefully a lot won't get airborne but for the most part a lot of nurse bees will just run right in all right so some are airborne the rest though they're starting to run right in some are going to the side but they'll be able to tell their friends hey our mama's over here so they're gonna run right in. it's just so cool to see this just the wave of bees go all nurse bees running in so i know some are going to stick over here on the stick <laughs> and uh what we're gonna do is just let them be and they'll all go inside they'll call their friends home their sisters home wish you could see their fan and do it but i'm just gonna leave them there let them get reestablished for a couple days and then i'll move them onto one of the stands or something but i could even get this stick right here kind of shake it back on here i feel like my fossil with the stick of not my faucet, but Rafiki. There we go. They'll call their friends. Here. 